you guys surprised that you survived last season? I'm surprised I survived any season, <laughs> <laughs> especially especially as the two of us are kind of yeah. kind of we're kind of I suppose we're nice guys uh, in in the show. Yeah. So nice guys don't last very long in no, our show. Don't. No, it seems to be the bad people that do well. Mm-hmm. season will only be seven episodes and will not air until the summer so I guess my first question to David and Dan is why do you hate us all so much and it's badass it's wonderful to be on set and to be able to go I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do some damage That's to awesome. people I'm gonna kill some people it's gonna be special and it it has I think there would be, there might be, there might have been moments in my life where I've kind of channeled my inner Khaleesi. But nine times out of ten, it's just funny as shocking people that, like, it's, that's not who I am. Yeah. That it's... You're just hanging out at a party cracking jokes and giggling. That's pretty much <laughs> it. And I think that's where my need to giggle comes yeah, from. Yeah, I like in that. In that I have to not giggle on set. Winter is here, and uh, we got to shoot in places where... There are trees, and we got to wait for the leaves to fall off. So we're actually waiting to shoot later in the year, and uh, that means we don't finish shooting till February. But there's no way to finish post. There's no way to get the show out there until summer. So. That doesn't account for the three Sundays where I will have nothing to do. <laughs> at night. Well, they. Oh. Rest in peace, Wayne. Yeah. Well, <laughs> she was a bit mean, so. She was a bit mean, yeah. and she also had an incredible run in that chase scene. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Oh, Where yeah. did that run come from? Is that just how you run? Am I pointing? Not out in something? real life, no. Okay. <laughs> not in those scenes. Uh, I just, I just, I just started doing it. Not in those scenes. Mm-hmm. I just started doing it, and then mm-hmm. once they cut, they were like, "Oh, it looks like the Terminator," and I thought, "Yeah, I'll keep that one." Yeah. Yeah. Keep the T one thousand. Yeah. So then every time we did it, because we had to do it like a million times, just mm-hmm. these. I don't know. Just that. It happened. <laughs> it's quite good, do you know what I mean? So I liked it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to point out that Sophie Turner made us all do shots of vodka before we came out here. So. <laughs> I'm 20. I didn't do any of that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, were fans coming up to you after that episode and just just shaking their head, going, "How how could you?" Oh well, if only they said how could you. They were a little bit more specific. <laughs> Death wishes to me. Yeah, it was quite so harsh on the on the Twitter on the on the World Wide Web. Didn't quite rightly too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of joy in everything that he does. So um, try and, he really he's enjoying. It. He's on the best time of his life, and you know he loves doing all this stuff. And that, I think you know it kind of made him a bit funnier as well. So he's not just some psychopath that. Um, that's just one direction he's got a bit more about him. He's not in one direction. <laughs> Davos this season got to interact with a, a fan favorite, Lady Mormont. I did. Yeah, can you tell me a little bit about working opposite Bella Ramsey? She makes me sick. <laughs> How so? She's Why? so professional. She's absolutely fabulous. The Kit was telling the story that the, the first day we rehearsed with her, because she's a little girl and we wanted to give her a little time, mm-hmm. she walked in and the performance was 100% perfect. Mm. We hadn't even got our lines off. We were reading off pieces of paper. We just all looked at her and felt like complete amateurs. <laughs> that girl is an absolute star. She's fantastic and a beautiful person as well. Yeah. Just a one take Bella. Mm-hmm. Well, that's nice to hear. I, I was in LA a few days ago in a hotel and um, all their doorsteps, or, or doorstops said Hodor on them. <laughs> 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 I knew it, really? <laughs> So what's the experience like shooting Star Wars compared to Game of Thrones? Oh, um, <laughs> g- gosh, um, off piste, interesting. Um, what's it like filming? Well, it's uh, two different projects, but um, they both have a very passionate fan base. And I can't really answer this question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure she believes that John is capable um, of running Winterfell in the north. I think uh, she thinks he doesn't have the intellect, the knowledge, the experience that she has. And I concur. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But I, you know, she knows that he has wonderful morals and that that kind of um, those stark morals that you know inevitably he'll make the right decisions, but or the good decision, but whether it's going to benefit anyone is another story. Whatever, John. Conlon. Yes, sir. <laughs> I think fans pointed out this season that you tended to flip back and forth between uh, Essos and Westeros really quickly. Yeah, but I got quicker from Ireland to San Diego than I did. To <laughs> Canada, so. so you're faster than Lord Varys. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I did. I, well, it, it didn't. I, I'm more annoyed about having to stand the whole way to Westeros. <laughs> the boat, but uh, I, it never annoyed me that That's I true. think there was enough time lapsed in between. They I should did, get you some did. seating. Yeah. But, what I want to know here oh, yeah, is sorry. there's a... Like I'm going to let you finish the sentence now, go. <laughs> <laughs> a, big, a fan theory that kind of spawned from that, from you going so fast between across the narrow sea, uh, was this theory about how Varys might actually be a merman. Yeah. Did you see that theory? What uh, do you think? I have no thoughts on it whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> to be very involved in the theory. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. No, I don't, I've never, I have what, what, I don't know what the theory is or why what? it's there or... Is there any other mare maids or men in the series so far? Or are they in the no, books? Really. Have I missed them? <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you do under your sleeves? That's the big question. That well, I'm, usually I'm making oh, lunch, lunch for everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Just twiddling your thumbs. We'll keep yeah. it at that. Yeah, that's more for, but that's more for continuity, so I don't have to go, what was I doing with my hands? <laughs> yeah. Good. That's all that is. You learn from that, actually. That's very yeah. 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 I think we should have a four-pronged Stark dream team. Uh, John, on, John on the throne, Sansa advising, Arya beating people up, and Bran just sitting in the corner of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think I want Littlefinger on the throne. I just think the. Shame, 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 shame. No, I just think it'd be fun. It'd be quirky. We like that kind of thing. Come on, we all watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> And uh, Liam, uh, your character, I mean, first he lost his fingers, now he's lost his king. Yeah. You know, he's sort of a man without a country he's now. He's sort of a daughter, his son, he just loses all yeah. the time. There's no upside in this character yeah. at all. Yeah. <laughs> one misery after another. Yeah, well, one misery after another is sort of... Thank you for coming him. <laughs> if you could choose the way you will die, <laughs> now is your opportunity, and I think I'd like to hear it, and I'm sure they would as well. How wonderful would it be? Or oh, kind of how the, the, the poetic justice of Sam has always been told that books are folly and they're to be dismissed and nobody with any real common sense ever deals with books. He said, no, actually no. People who read books can do good in the world. They can do yeah. good great good. Yeah, yeah see, right? He's never been around this many books before. He's climbing up the bookshelf. <laughs> You know, artistic, but you know, you know, book from the top shelf. <laughs> Gets all the way up there, doesn't, you know, severely underestimates his own weight. <laughs> you know, tipples backwards off the bookshelf and pulls all of those books down from the top shelf. <laughs> so, 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 right, uh. you know, John, you know, <coughs> Miguel, you could direct this bit, right? We saw, we saw your work with John under the bodies in Battle of the Bastards. Imagine went to Sam trying to fight his way out of all the books. <laughs> That, that he's loved his whole life. And now, if he hadn't got what he wanted, he'd still be alive. It wasn't battle that killed him, it was books that killed him. <laughs> oh my god! Drago? Yeah? Versus Josh Pfefferman in a fight. And before you answer, I want to say that Josh had a, kick, a cardio kickboxing class for like eight days one time, yeah. and his sensei told him that he was pretty okay. That he was, that he was it? Yeah, yeah, he was the, sh he was the, the he stuff. He was the stuff. The yeah, sh the yeah. Yeah. The good stuff. Who do you think would win? Okay, wait. We wait. could do it. Wait. What about a, a, a we could what do about it. a passive aggressive fight? Passive aggressive Who would win that? fight. <laughs> well, yeah, well Drogon's kind of he you have to you know, you have to you know, feed him, he gets kinda of sad and <laughs> sassy and he might Yeah, he's he gets an a animal. Grumpy. He's gonna get a little distracted by right. you know, there might be like a pretty goose flying by that looks pretty tasty or like right. you know, someone might throw a ball. First question that I think a lot of people would like to know, I certainly am one of them. Why did not, why didn't Sansa tell John about the Knights of Vale? That seems like important info. Yeah. Yeah! 
Yeah, that's what I was wondering Why do you too. Think? Um, Sansa didn't tell John because she wanted all the credit and it was a more dramatic moment when she showed up and it makes for really good television. <laughs> now here's the question that I'm wanting to know. Why It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia didn't get an Emmy nomination? Yeah! I don't know. You guys have won. What are you doing wrong? <laughs> Yeah, I think so, yeah, and I think it was really justified and I like how it's moved the story on. Um, yeah, it was, I think it was, you know, you can't really ask for a more epic death than that or more righteous death, you know, for him. I mean, it's, it's very justified, isn't it? With a sense of irony, which was fun. I know. Uh, what, did, what did the friends and the family think uh, when they saw that happen? Um, it's been really nice. Everyone just really loved the episode, actually, and they were kind of, yeah, I mean, you know, people kind of, even the... Even your mates who wouldn't really talk about it are kind of like, oh, nice one, man. Yeah, it was a good job that was, yeah. So it's cool, you know, when, even when they say it. Seeing as he died so heroically for Bran, I was wondering if there's anything um, he would say to Bran if he could express anything more than Hodor. Thanks. <laughs> Hold your own. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been asked that question before. Um, that what, what would the, the, the first word you would say to Bran um, if Hodor could suddenly speak? And it would definitely be no. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be like, hey, Hodor, take me, carry me to that tree. No. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> A girl would like to know. Oh, oh no. What was the favorite part of training for your fight oh. scenes? Um, I guess they were kind of choreographed like dances um, and so we, we spent like a month in Northern Ireland doing that and I remember one day where Maisie and me were really really, t no actually this was after filming, so after we filmed episode 5 I, we, we spent all day doing that and it was so much fun but me and Maisie were hitting each other a lot, by the end of the day we were so tired that I went back to my hotel room and fell asleep face down in a plate of salmon. <laughs> so even though it was a good day, you know, I woke up like this, like this. And I looked in the mirror and was like, man, that was, you know, it was a tough day. So yeah, that probably, probably that day because we were both really tired, but we had like a, a lot of fun, yeah. <laughs> Salmon face, awesome, shouldn't have said that. <laughs> what are you hoping Sam will find in that massive library? Books. <laughs> yeah, loads and loads and loads of books. Well, with, with, with that. In those books. Some CDs, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few audio books would be nice. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I just think that you know, Sam's not there for a holiday. He's not there to be kind of twisting by the pool at the Citadel for for the rest of his life. That relationship with Shireen was very easy. Um, she's an absolutely gorgeous human being and a beautiful actress, and uh, um, and these guys keep taking the people I like working with away from me, <laughs> uh, which makes it difficult. Uh, but that was, um, that was pretty tricky. Actually, I must tell you, there is a, a little story. The, 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 uh, the stag that I got, my daughter is in the audience here, by the way. Say hello to my daughter, please. Uh, so I, I, I liberated the stag, uh, and uh, my daughter has a wall of awesome at home. And I said, you need that, and we finished filming. We hadn't, it hadn't been broadcast. And I said, you need, to, uh, you need to have that in your hand when we're watching the show. We all sit on the couch and watch it. Uh, what I didn't uh, figure on, because I wasn't there for Shireen's demise, when the episode came on, I said, you, you need to have that again. Uh, and she'll tell you this. Uh, she had it in her hand. I hadn't seen it, and we sat down to watch it. And all of a sudden, my daughter was in a heap uh, on the sofa while she watched my surrogate daughter, Shireen, getting born to death while she held a stag that I had stolen from. And I felt like the worst dad in the world. It was appalling. <laughs> Awful thing to do. So that, that's their fault, by the way. Would you have liked to have your death scene shot? And if so, would you? What, how would you have liked to do I, I think it would have been cool to mm -hmm. see Maisie rip my face off. 
just rip it on off. But I guess in a way it's good because, you know, they can use their imagination, the audience can use their imagination. But also, didn't she blow the candle out so no one she, would have seen anything she, anyway? She smacked it with a sword. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so she, oh, she took it off. But, um, you know, it would have been good because we'd have, I'd have got to, you know, been on Game of Thrones for maybe another two days, which would have been nice. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Just to rip your face off. Engine cold hands is back. Oh. Yeah, good one. <laughs> I'd like to ask the panel if there are any great stories, funny, that they'd like to share during the production this season. Ah, oh, I'm <laughs> sure there's so many. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kit farted a lot. <laughs> Exclusive. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> How long did it take you to wrap your head around the Hodor hold the door twist? It was, it's such a clever twist. I remember, I mean, I read it in the script and, and it was just like, oh my God, <laughs> it works out. The first thing I did was I quickly Googled it to see if anyone had worked it out already. And lo and behold, some fan theories way back, like a year ago, Is had that already, true? yeah, seriously. Did so they got the thing they'd with come the flares up, they'd found hold the door. Yeah, they, they, really? it, they I think it, it had been manifested in a slightly different way, but, um, wow. But then when I read that Hodor died, I, I mean, I genuinely didn't believe it. I, I was with my mum, and I was like, oh, oh no, well he's not dead. He can't be dead. Yeah. She's like, no, no, he's dead. He's dead. And it, it, it didn't compute. I couldn't believe it. But, I felt uh, the same when they did yeah. the Shireen thing. One of yeah. the three, and she's born and gone. I can't yeah, do that. It, 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 it's like it's really weird. You, you know, especially when you've been working because we have personal relationships with yeah. these people as well. And then they're just, I just go, kill them. <laughs> just go, go. <laughs> but that's my colleague. Yeah. They're not getting sacked. They are getting sacked, in a sense, but they're being killed. It's very strange. It's a weird, weird, uh, weird way to work.